What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Heather by Conan Gray on the good old uke. <laughs> As always with every ukulele tutorial, I will include a skip to section right here where you can skip to either the chords, the chord progression, or the strumming if you don't want to sit through an entire 10 minute video. I totally get it, I totally understand. But if you did watch the entire thing, I'd love you forever. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you're probably thinking to yourself, Ricky, you've done this song already. You have a full tutorial and play along for this song. I'll leave both of those videos in the description below. You'd be correct. But in this video, we're gonna simplify it even more. We're gonna use even simpler chords. So again, if you do want a little bit more of a challenge with chords, that video will be in the description below. But if you wanna simplify it, if you just started playing, then this video is definitely for you. Also, what I do wanna remind you is that the full ukulele play along for this song, which is the lyrics and chords on screen, while I strum and sing the entire song, will go live after this video. And again, simple chords. And make sure you're subscribed, and most importantly, hit the bell notification so you get notified when that video goes live, so you don't miss out. And finally, if you do want to download the PDF chord sheet for this song, which is the lyrics and chords, if you want to get that, you can get that on Patreon. Link will be in the description below. I'd love it if you go check it out and support this channel. Again, that will be on Patreon. But let's go ahead and learn the simple chords we can use for the song coming up next. All right, so let's learn these chords. As always, I will include a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers on the uke for each chord. I feel like it just helps a lot when you can visually see and then also have me talk you through it. So the first chord that we need is the A minor chord. And how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the fourth string, which is the top string, fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the C chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place your ring finger on the first string, which is the bottom string, first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. Awesome. The next chord that we need is the E minor chord. Now how I always say it looks like a staircase going down. How we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the first string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the second string, third fret. And finally, you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the third string, fourth fret. And it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the F chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second string, first fret, and then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. And last but definitely not least is the F minor chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the fourth string, first fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the second string, first fret. And then finally you're gonna take your pinky and place it on the first string, third fret. And it should sound like this. And there you have it. All right, so those are the chords that we need for this song. As always, if you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section or chord that you need a little bit more time on, and then once the chords sound crisp and clear, press play, and now let's talk about the chord progression that we're gonna use throughout the song coming up next. All right, so let's learn the chord progression that we're gonna use throughout this song. As soon as you memorize this, you have the entire structure of the song down. So the chord progression is gonna go C, E minor, A minor, F, and then F minor. So let's do that one more time in three, two, one, C, E minor, A minor, F, F minor. 
So again, as soon as you memorize that, you have the entire structure of the core of the song down. And again, you're just gonna repeat that chord progression throughout the entire song. So it's super easy and super simple. So again, C, E minor, A minor, F, F minor. And there you have it. All right, and finally, let's learn how we're gonna play this song with the strumming. I'm gonna teach you three different ways you can play this song. The first way is gonna be for the true beginner who's like Ricky, don't even add a strumming pattern. I don't wanna deal with it. I'm just learning the chords. I just started a week ago, yesterday, an hour ago. Please, no strumming, I got you. The first way is gonna be super simple in that you're just gonna strum down whenever you see a chord change. So you're gonna strum down with your thumb and it's just gonna be this little meaty portion right here. And again, you're just gonna glide over all four strings. So if you're new to the uke completely, just hold your uke and just strum down. Make sure everything sounds crystal clear and you're gliding over all four strings. And if you feel like your thumb is getting stuck in between the, in between the strings, that's basically telling you that you're adding way too much pressure. Lighten up the pressure and just glide over all four strings. And it should sound amazing. All right, so the second way we can play this song is gonna be with sort of a strumming pattern, but it's just gonna be with down strum. So I'm gonna use my thumb for this. I have the C chord down, and it's just gonna be like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So you're gonna do the counts of four for that one, two, three. So again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's break it down for the chords. The C, E minor, and A minor get that one, two, three, four times for each chord. And the F and the F minor get the one, two, three, twice for those two chords. So again, F minor is gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, F minor. One, two, three, one, two, three. So if we add everything together, let's just do that right now. We're gonna start off with a C. In three, two, one. All right, so let's talk about the third way that we can play this song, and it's gonna be with a full strumming pattern, and that strumming pattern is going to be down, up, 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 down, up. So let's do that again. Let's just break it down. It seems like a lot, but as soon as you hear it and you know the song, it's gonna sound very familiar. So again, we're gonna start off with a C. The C, E minor, and A minor get the full strumming uh, pattern for this, which is down, up down 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 up and then f and f minor get down up down up down up down up and then f minor down up down up down up down up so let's do that again let's do the entire song or the entire section of the intro with the strumming pattern in three two one going repeat that entire thing again the C E minor and A minor get the down up 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 and then the F and F minor get the down up down up down up down up and then F minor down up down up down up down up and then you repeat back to that same strumming pattern all right, so we just talked about the chords, the chord progression, and the three different ways you can play this song. Congratulations, you now know how to play Heather by Conan Gray with the super simplified chords on the good old uke. As always, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube, if you haven't already.
Also, I do want to give a huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I can't thank you enough. I know there's a billion, gajillion, trillion videos on YouTube, especially for this song, and you decided to click on this one, so thank you so much for all the support. Also, if you just recently subscribed to this channel and turned on the bell notification, welcome to the Uke Fam, the best Uke Fam on the YouTubes in my opinion. Also, we do go live every Wednesday and Friday. If you do want to join any of those live streams, I'll leave the full schedule in the description below. So definitely go check out what times we go live every Wednesday and Friday. It's a good time. We hang out, we play games. Sometimes we do giveaways for merch and even ukes. So definitely go check the live streams out. We do it on this channel every Wednesday and Friday. And finally, make sure to open the description below to get links to everything from the uke that I was playing, which is the concert size Leolani Ukulele. It's a true Hawaiian uke, absolutely amazing, highly recommend. And if you do shop at www.leolaniukulele.com and you use the code Ricky10 at checkout, you save $10. Who doesn't wanna save money these days? I know I do, absolutely love them. They're one of my favorite brands to work with. And also hint, hint, we're creating a signature uke, you didn't hear it from me, that is gonna be coming out soon. So highly recommend that you go support Leolani Ukulele. They are absolutely amazing ukes, and again, super amazing to work with. So again, use Ricky10 at checkout to save $10. Also, there's gonna be links below for the merch. If you do wanna support this channel, get some merch. This is the logo for this YouTube channel. We also do have the Potato Squad merch. Links for that will be below. And finally, links to all of my socials. Everything is just gonna be at Ricky Somborn for Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Patreon. All that good stuff will be down below, so make sure you go check that out. Make sure to follow me on your most used social medias. Mine right now is TikTok and Instagram, so you're gonna see me uh, very active on both. And if you do get any of the merch, learn any of the songs through tutorials or play-alongs, and you want to share it out to the rest of the Uke fam and Potato Squad, make sure to tag me in your stuff, on your stories, in your posts on Instagram, especially. I'm always resharing and reposting your stuff. So if you do, make sure to tag me and I will reshare. Thank you so much for all the support. I truly can't thank you enough. I love you. I hate to leave you, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye.